Hello everybody, Call of It viewers, loyal viewers, we are about to watch this beautiful epic games with me Gepardito and Toha, pro KRS player and the best British player I ever met, Sir Colorfit. With a uh, power nation, everybody has England. I'm joking, of course, because England is not a power nation, but in the color of its hand, it is. And you will see why in a few minutes, Bobby. So uh, I remember you, it's 5k, zero piece time, and... Uh, Captures on this time. For some reason, we wanted to play some highest level tonight. Even if some player like me didn't play no captures since long. And uh, I basically made a lot of mistake in this game. But this is another story. I shouldn't say that. Anyway, we have a uh, diplomatic center building for Antoha, same for Call of It, and not for me. Now I deposit it because I'm, I'm a, a noob. We have Sir Sokulu, Mehmet Inyo, who have diplomatic center as well on the other side. We have the same for Stolmanello, Stolmanello sorry, the best Polish of the creation. And the second best Polish of the creation, Sir Arturito. Or maybe third, because uh, Warren beat at Petru in WCL. I need to remember that, guys. In 1v1. So pro Warren. So Kulu, Stolman, Sen, Siege. Everybody is making Siege and sending them to is direct direct opponent basically on the left i made 20 siege and i perfectly know sokulu will do more than that because yes it's Sokulu and he's no he knows I don't like that so he will try to play on this versus me. So I I choose to stay passive while Call of It is dancing with Stallman on the middle of the map. So Artus is trying to do some multitasking with his siege and disturb Antoha, but you can't disturb Antoha with multi multitasking because He's the creator of the multitasking of on Cossacks tree. Or oh, almost, we will say. <laughs> Call of it took the first gold mine of this game on, of Stallman on the left. Which is really good. But we lose a lot of siege trying to take the second one. Antoha made a lot of siege as well. Probably 50 siege or 40. I try to disturb Sokulu on, on his flanks, but I perfectly know there is a formation incoming on the left, but I didn't check because I'm a noob. Don't do this mistake. I don't have vision on the right side. So look, he's coming with few siege and capture my gold mine behind. 
And I need to admit that I was on team speak with him, uh, flaming him and saying to him he's a fucking noob, basically. But he's not, he's doing what, he's, what he needs to do, and he captured my blacksmith as well. Such a good player, that's so cool. Call of it is about to lose a mine, no he defended it. Well And now you can notice that Solman is on one, two, three front and it sounds like mm, so cool who want to attack Call of It. They want to 3 versus 1 him actually and I didn't say anything to him in the game but I noticed it like look. You have Artus on the right, you have Stallman on the left and you have Sokulu following. Not far. What can I say to you about the upgrades in this game? We have 4-3 for Sokolu. We have 4-4 four, four for Stallman. 5-4 for, for Soratus. While well, Mr. Call of it have four five. And what about me, the noob? Ah, five five. But yeah, it's almost the same for everybody. Mr. Antojito four four. Okay, I see it's ten minutes games and everybody's playing greedy like without a lot of upgrades on pikes but this is as well probably because we need to make a lot of siege of, of uh, a lot of siege cossacks excuse me for my diction diction english is rude i'm attacking sokuru on the bottom but without any success and I got finally his formation in my base. Take me one gold mine. Antoha is making dragons already 12 minutes. It's a nice timing. And a lot of dragons, 100. Sokulu's producing dragons as well. He's shy in his base, I will say, like me, because I took damage, so I'm not playing aggressive, but... Yeah, he needs to... to go through the map. Love it producing dragons as well. Antoha is making pressure because he can now. He can do whatever he wants. 
with all those beautiful dragons. Call of it is making pressure on the middle and Antoha choose to I will say relocate Archus army on the right. Stallman is making dragoons and press call of it. Now people need to take position and I need to come as well. I must be here already. Because Sokulu's dragons are here. Let me remember you, I'm crippled a little in this game compared to the others. I mean, I lost two gold mines and yeah, it was not really good to be honest to the start, but it will be better after, you will see. At this stage of the game, to be honest, I was thinking in my head, uh, we're gonna lose. Because I saw those dragons of Sokulu. And I knew, basically, I was in the worst position compared to my ally. But something happened. Call of it is attacking. We stallman, take a better position, try to re-engage. Finally back. Archus and Antoha on the right uh, have a really nice control of army. For now, Call of It is attacking, reforming, decide to back and to bait for those beautiful dragons look on, on the mountain. Wow, I didn't see that. That good bait. Nice. While well, I'm fighting with Sokuru and look what happened. I control my pikes, my, my pikes in this fight and I think this is why I won. Because I was only 7 6 on upgrades and Sokulu was 7 7 with armor upgrade. I know it because I was with him on TeamSpeak. And now it's Dragon Walk. This is not good, Bob. So I basically won this fight, and to be honest, I was supposed. I was about to lose it. But I think, Mehmet, you need to control your formation in the fight. This is the only reason I, I can explain your, your defeat there. Artus and Antoha missed the fight, unfortunately there is too much thing happening in this game. Sounds like Artus won. Took a little advantage at, at least. Sokulu need to retreat and now I'm saying in the chat to call off it uh, to go and attack basically to press Tolman trying to grind some units while he's retreating and we are doing that perfectly Sokulu send the his little army. My job there was just to relocate 
Kyushu army and cut the rally point of Sokulu and cut off it. Took the advantage basically. Now this is the moment in the game I was sleeping a little for a few seconds, I must continue to attack. But we good, we have cannons producing from me from Antoha of course. Look at this beautiful fight. Hi hi hi. And Stallman, the best Polish of the world versus the best British of the world. He's losing. My son. But to be honest, he's the strong, strongest player of his team, actually. And now we decide to rush him. But this little Polish kid know how to defend. So cool reinforcement will come on the left. The right time. Finally, they reboot us. And now, in this game, I choose to... I know Sokolo will reproduce dragons. I know Stallman has still more and I have like nothing. I produced grenadiers and immediately switched on shooters. I'm actually making all the upgrades for shooters. Two or three already in the academy almost. I will do them soon probably. And I think it was a good decision to switch in this uh, in in that moment. We had space to retreat. Almost the same amount of army. And Entoha is watching Sir Arthur in the eyes. So you have Mr. Call of it. Taking position near to me because yes, we need to be together in that beautiful game. Let me check the map. So Artus and and Toha watching it each other, making some tea. Probably because we are in a GT game. What a clown that Gepardo. Look what I did. I deleted 30 dragons, 25. What a noob. No, it's on purpose because I want to make another dragons. Artillery, artillery. For almost everybody. Grenadiers for Stallman. Staying on pikes. And look how Mr. Sokolo will lose few dragons. Tac, 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 tac. Opa. Don't try to grind my units. 
like if I was a noob. Because I'm not a noob. I'm a noob, but a big noob. The biggest and strongest noob you can ever meet, basically. Many people will tell you Gepa is the best player of the galaxy, but don't trust them. Look, the traitors. Hiding in the army like... Like I don't know. Queen Guard. Queen Squad. Ah, why we French people cannot talk English properly? I will never know. Titan fight incoming in the top. Top right. Beautiful heal for Arturito. To the start I would say shit engage from Entoha, but look. Entoha is Entoha. Reading from behind with the siege. Attacking on the flank with the dragoons. The raiders behind and look this cannon shot on the right. Bam! Boom! Holy shit, we he lost probably 50 fucking pikes there. And here we have a better control of units in the fight from Antoha and this is why he won I think. This is basic uh, basics of Antoha. You think he will lose but he still win because he's Antoha and because Antoha is Antoha. Well played Bob. Well played! Manero try to come to me but will quickly retreat because he heard the sound of Kajier the cannon shot Antoha is trying to countering Archus. Kinda holding. But Archus are still cannon shooters and a nice heal, so. Gonna be hard. Sir Sokulu, the Ottoman soldier. Take position with Stolmanello. And this is the crucial moment. We start to talk in the chat with Call of It. You don't see it, but we were like, okay, man, I think we can go. Yes, I have this and that. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. And then suddenly. Arturito is defending well. Versus. And to have with a little help from Stallman, I need to say, the Polish savior. Or maybe I was a bit early for the talk with Call of It, but yes. We always talk in fights in private chat like. We want to come at home after we wreck them. I offer you some tea. Yes, with pleasure. Can I can I can you take some baguette with you? Yes, of course my friend I will take, but let's crush them before and then we go. 
finally and look this execution we retreat the dragons and observe the raters of call of it and his dragons on the left flank the cannons of Sokulu are down captured by me and and now call of it is telling to me on the right side to back a little my army I do that as well. We make another front and we grind on the other side with all those beautiful raters and all what we still have and we cut the rally point of Sokulu. And literally look to sweaters. Look at them. Look, look. The Queen's Guard. Look at them. Wow. I want to cry uh, of joy when I see that. Call of it cannot lose versus Tolman. With Raiders. It's impossible. Now the game is quite down on this side because Sokulu has no army left. I have almost all my army, all my, sh my shooters untouched, not all but a lot, and basically 25 cannons, maybe more. So Artus is trying still to press Antoha and do his best, to be honest it was a huge duel between them. I cannot say who was the best player but... High skill. Required to play this game. And the best British one versus the best Polish, unfortunately. And this is sad, my son, Stolmanello. Next time, Bobby, you will play with me and we will win. Very nice game, and that's a GG. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that game. And my uh, weird commentaries. I hope we see you soon in high skill game like that. And uh, I kiss you everybody, especially uh, the Russian and the uh, Ukrainian, the East community. I love you, Bobbies, so much. Bye-bye.